Hello everyone, welcome back again to another Backpack Battles video. Today, we're going to be trying out another build on the, on the beta branch. This time, we're going to be trying out something different, being Prismatic Sword. So what you do with that is you get a Prismatic Orb, which is a godly weapon, and you combine it with a wooden sword. So you hold on to it from the start, basically, and you combine the two. Now, for the Prismatic Sword, what the strongest thing seems to be is just, if you can is surrounding it with prismatic orbs because prismatic orbs are tagged with, you know, all the tags. So that's how you get the strongest possible. But I think holy is probably the strongest with combination of holy and a bit of vampiric, bit of magic. Dark is probably a bit weaker unless you're doing some like dark saber build, which could work as well. Um, but for now, we're gonna go for the holy items and we're gonna smash it. So straight into the new game. Get this straight away. So we're gonna be holding on to the, this sword forever. So we're not gonna combine it with a tor to make a torch or anything. Nothing here is good. Um, like at all, we can get the stone, I guess, and we'll just get some bag space. Really weak turn one, but it is what it is. Sometimes that happens. We should put this in there, and we'll give it a go. So for the early game, super generic, uh, just looking for anything to get us through the early game, like four items are nice. Um, I don't know if I wanted to play four gold for it, though, that's the thing. But, just get through the early game as we can. We got the, we got the early crit, luckily, so we got ahead. And yeah, that's it. We can get some stones. That's that's nice, actually. I'm not going to do with the golem or anything like that. So, even though these are nice, it's not like not insane. We'll give that a go. We're not making the uh, Fortunia shortbow. Um, I want these for the pigs. We just have one, so it's not really that big. And I'll get any amulets I see along the way. Um, I think for this build, amulets probably aren't needed like at all. Uh, they don't really do anything for us. Um, I guess the healing one could be nice, but it doesn't really do anything for us. Unlucky, we lost that. Very close. Alright, we got a Goober that'll help us get through the early game very well, so I'm gonna grab that instantly. And we'll grab another pig. We've got nothing to put here. Um, I mean, if you. I could. Yeah, I could. You know what? I'm gonna actually do a solid. I'm going to actually make it so it's not bad. I don't think we can, actually, on second thought. Because I want both the weapons in here and I can't get the stones. Oh, wait, no, I can. What am I, what am I talking about? Look at that. Lovely. Use my brain. <laughs> there we go. So we should probably be good for at least like two rounds now just because we found that Goobert, which is great. Um, customer cards are good as well because we're on for godly items, so that's good. Get them stones. We got them. Lovely. We could go a gem box as well. Um, I will go gem box actually. We'll just grab this fuck of it and keep going. I grabbed the garlic, even though it's not the strongest item, just because it's one gold, it's it's on offer, so it sells the same. Um, I did forget to talk about this earlier. Uh, the reason we're going uh, Ranger, specifically, is to go to the Mega Clover to try to get more sales to get more godly items, because godly items are really expensive, so we're going to be... Uh, we be cucked a little bit like that. That's also why we're getting all the pigs we can, because this is very much a late game build. So hopefully we get it online. Um, I did a run with this before. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well, but I got the Prismatic Sword around turn like 10. So that's probably what we're hoping for. Um, but yeah, um, the Chip Ruby is nice because it'll always give us one. It'll always heal for at least one, so that's good. Um, we could go another bow, which I will. Um, I think bows are superior, so that'll stay there. We can make a pig now, lovely. And now for the other stuff we can do is we can go the amulet. Um, this is more of a for fun thing. I don't think amulet's really good for this build, but let's see what we got. Boom, amulet of feasting. Um, I mean, okay. <laughs> Just a little for fun. Just to see what we got. I was really hoping to get the energizing amulet, but it is what it is. Get them bows. Give him the old one-two bow. We're probably going to need to be getting some actual weapons soon because uh, this is probably not going to be sustainable. We are doing absolutely no damage. But for one, I'll take that. Wowee, look at that. Alright, so more backspace. Lovely. Uh, we are desperately looking for some weapons, weapons right now, which we just got. We got this. And we even have a Fawn Whip or even a Hammer for our choices there. Um, I mean, this, is, this isn't this is going to do much for us. This is better just for the tempo. Mm 
Um, ideally we would get the Fawn Whip as well, but we just don't have enough, like, space and everything for it, so... For now we'll leave it as it is. Uh, I don't think I'll need this, but... Maybe. <laughs> uh, Fawn Whip's kinda big. It'll be fine. Okay. I wanna see what else we can get. I don't wanna set it. But getting a better bow's nice. Come on, oh, so close, but so far. Alright, so our first godly item, we got a rip, rip saw as well, so that's nice. Um, we could go rip saw blade, something like this. Um, what's the stamina cost? We could do it. I think we have to, uh, just upgrade our weapon. We don't want these to fuse. Um, you might be thinking, oh, why didn't you get the shield of valor and like put that in? I don't think it's worth it. Um, it's too ex right now it's way too expensive, like way too expensive, so we're not going to do that, but as it is, YOLO. Pig doesn't do anything for us right now, so I'll get these pigs together just so they give us a little bit more HP, but that's it. Pretty, pretty stock standard, isn't it? Nothing crazy going on. Let's put this bad boy in. I, saw, I know I sold a chip down before, but it's one gold. Get them. Maybe it'll matter. Maybe that maybe that one poison prop will matter. Oh, there it is. Poison straight away. Insane. How's it do it? Close but no cigar. All right, so we're going the we're going mega clover because mega clover already paying off instantly. Boom. Uh, none of this is good enough, unfortunately. We're probably gonna get rid of the um probably get rid of stones here in a second. Let's take this out. See what else we can get. More clovers. Lovely. One of these bad boys, lovely. I don't know where to put it, but I would imagine the Ripsaw Blade does more damage, but I don't know. <laughs> um, does this fuse? I actually don't know, but we'll find out. It's good. That's actually good to get early for the Prismatic Blade, because that's a vampir vampiric item, which will give lifesteal, which is nice. None of this is good enough. That's good enough. That is good enough, though. We're running out of triggers for our Goober right now, but hopefully it'll it'll all work out. Don't need this. Um, I probably should have had this in one before I was rerolling. That's a mistake. But we live with our mistake. Let's go. Bong him, boss, bong him. We crit him, we crit him. Wahoo! Now to see what did more damage. So I'm curious. Uh, Ripsaw Blade definitely did more damage. Alright, let's go. An amulet on offer? Don't mind if I do. Another amulet of feasting? What the heck? Alright, yeah. I'm going to take that out for now. I'm going to take this out as well. Alright. Once again. Prismatic. No. <laughs> Soon, TM. Soon. Okay. Once again. No. I mean. That's some offers. Don't mind that. Alright. Don't need this. One more. I mean, if it's on offer, I can put it in this turn and sell it next turn, so, you know. It's free! We're not going to make mana, but may as well just go in there, right? I wonder if at this point it's just better just to have the Ripstall Blade in, if the bow and arrow is even really doing anything, because it's just going to make us honk. But maybe, we, we do have the flute now. The flute can be moved around a uh, long one, though. I think we can sustain it with the flute. But yep, he tried to use his toads, but it's not enough, is it? Get him out of here. Like, more offers. I will take all offers. Okay. Lovely. Time for another pig to be born. Get in there. I don't think we can sustain the uh, stamina cost if I would have put this in. But, I'm a maniac. Alright, let's get that prismatic orb. Let's get that bread. 
Um, nope. Prismatic orb. Prismatic orb. Prismatic orb. Tarnation. Oh, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I need some of my customer cards, don't I? Now the honking begins. It's a bit RNG, but I still think having both weapons is good. Um, we got a unique weapon before we got the uh, prismatic. That's not a. That's not based at all. Don't have another pig, but we'll put in the these anyway. Okay, <clears throat> time to get prismatic. Oh, we got it on the int reroll, so that's nice. <laughs> that was a tilt reroll, by the way. If I didn't get it right then, the, the video was over. <laughs> I was just like, screw this. Alright, we got the shield we can get on offer. It's obviously not good, but considering that we can just put it in for free. Did someone say free? I think they did. It's not bad. For now, we can sell it next turn because it's on offer, but maybe it, maybe it matters, maybe it doesn't. Look at his puny prismatic versus my, uh, my prismatic, his base. Alright, Ripsaw Blade be gone. It's time. It's time for the blade. Alright, we need Vampirism. Vampirism. Stat. Boom. One Vampirism in. Next. What do we need? We need to get rid of this, and we need to get some holy items. Um, this is a holy item. Uh, it's kind of in to buy it, but I don't want to get cocked and not get any holy items, right? So, we're going to, uh, we're going to pay the toll. I am not, my brain is not computing how to do this, but it's okay. Okay. So what Holy Item will do is, uh, gives us more, you know, damage per hit, so we want this to do as fast as possible, and do as much damage as possible. Put this here actually is a bit better. Because then it procs the Goobit as well. Wow. Amazing. Stick all these bad boys in. We will now combine we will now combine the rubies. We don't make any mana, so that's irrelevant. We'll nerf that. We'll add speed. Eventually. Oh, uh, we don't have any of our holy items or anything, so we'll keep looking. A saber. Ooh, a saber. Ooh. Oh, we'll saw the emerald. It's crap. This is better. Alright, we could put in a lightsaber, but again, it's not the best. But for now, we, there's no way we have any uh, stamina problems, so it is what it is. Let's go. Wait, that guy's just better than mine. We're healing quite a lot, though. And it's gaining damage. It's rampant. It's rampant. We're hanging in there, like... Getting stunned, like, a lot, though. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's have a look here. Prismatic Blade ended 23 to 29. Not bad for our first turn having it. And we can instantly look at our healing. Boom. Massive healing. It's quite a bit. Next, we need some more holy items. You know what that means? It's time. <laughs> time to buy. Out there. This is 
that up because then I can do this. More block. More block. More fun. Am I right? This can go. I need more room. This is kind of just chilling. We don't make any uh, mana right now, but you know. <laughs> I mean, I could do this and make a vampiric gloves, which, you know, same thing, right? That's good. Um, so right now we're kind of like stuck. We could sell this, the boots to get more, which I will actually, because we're... I'm inting. Give me my shit. Lovely, look at that. It's beautiful. We don't have anything else to put right there now, but we're getting more ramping damage, which is nice to see. Uh, you know, let's, let's give it a go. So every hit now should be giving us tw uh, 1.2 damage, which is very nice. It's hitting very hard, very hard weapon. And we're critting every single hit because of all our, all our clovers, so... Which we have the acorn over here, so that's dumb as hell. But yeah, you can see now, already, boom, big damn. And onwards we go to victory. This should be over here. This is on offer. Grab this, we can stick this here. Why oh, would you look at that? This is giving us a ton of regeneration too. Amazing! Might I add, amazing. Simply amazing. We need this clove, we need this acorn there. And yeah, that's that's our turn. Um, not terrible turn. And we'll go, we're off again. Yeah, we're also proccing our Mega Clover now, I believe. I hope we are. I don't know. But look at that. Prismatic Sword chop chop chopping. We got there in the end, didn't we? Ooh, one of those bad boys. I'm gonna stick that in. For one, it's not bad. Um, I'm still looking for stuff to put around the sword, so I'm not going to put, keep the gem box in the roll for gems yet, but we will down the line. Don't need that. Could put another one of these bad boys, and then put the, that there. Lovely, look at that. That's perfect, lovely. Hit hard, hit fast. So we need, we need more stuff like this. This will work. Um, or do I want to go for more holy? I mean, ideally you'd have more holy. Um, I could go to the Goobert. I think the Goobert's had its time. Not because there's anything wrong with Goobert, but just that um, yeah, it's uh definitely a bit later in the game for a Goober right now. Just to be, just to be chilling. Get that in. Could get another Jinx Torquila, but are we good? Reserve that, and we'll get the... Do I want another crown? I mean, crown is better. I mean, crown's nice. Can't, can't complain, right? So ideally, I think we'd want the heart like over... Oops. We probably want the heart like over here. But that'll be down the line. So right now, let's shove in all our clovers. And let's give it a go! And straight away, we get that buff from the heart. Increased healing. We got a honk, but it's okay. It's just, it's that, boom, prismatic sword, boom. 100% crit, so it's hitting really, really hard, and it's hitting really fast. Um, if we had magic items around it, it would give it attack speed, but we just don't have magic items around it. Something I should have, like, looked for, right? But we're going for the holy... Oh, this is healing, so that's nice. We get rid of, we get rid of this garlic, actually, that's crap. The question right now is how how much do we want to max this? Because I could put this here, for example. I mean, that's still just the same thing. It's actually worse. <laughs> so we'll put one with the heart here, put a crown here, put that there, or that here, I guess, is better. Because now we've still got one one slot open up here for an item, which hopefully we get something magic on the reroll. We'll find out. Another prismatic orb that's instantly getting getting reserved. Can I get that this turn? It's a really, really, really nice item if we can get it. Uh, 12, I have 5. I don't think we can afford it, but it'll be going in soon. That's amazing. Because that'll give us one of every buff. Um, I can't sell this. I need the stamina regen. This is nice. Like Everything's really nice to have here, so... Let's see how it is. We don't have any mana generation, which is a problem. Like, oh dear. Get him. Chop, chop, chop. We're out of stamina. No. Keep chopping, keep chopping, keep chopping, keep chopping. 
We chopped him. We beat Excalibur. Lovely. Perfect, even. Now we get the orb in. Look at that. Boom. And this will give us a ton of uh, healing plus as well. I mean, this is better. How many items does this hit? This hits... Uh, what? Oh, not counting the heart. It hits uh, five. This hits five. So that'll do. That's lovely. That'll give us one of every buff, meaning we get 10% attack speed, vampirism, holy. This is amazing to put. Absolutely amazing item to put in. And we get even more healing. We don't make mana, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's, right now, what we're looking for is some mana generation. Um, and we'll get where we go. Rip. I mean, what if I sold this and just got a heart, though? I think this being here is good, though. Um, because the heart procs instantly if it's here. So it's kind of like, it does feel like a bit of a waste when I could just put another heart in, but, you know, getting the insta regeneration is really nice. Um, blueberry is, is okay. It's not, it's nothing to write home about, though, is the problem, the thing. Like, it's not a problem, but our items are just kind of big and bulky right now. But such is life. I'll give this a go and we'll see what happens. Actually, we'll re-roll once. Boom. Uh, no, no. Let's see if it procs our crowns, because I'm only worried about dying, so if it procs our crowns, that's great. There you get crown instantly. Lovely. Boom. It's just, it's over. Like, look at that damage. Instantly. Boom. And look at the healing, too. Prismatic Sword, 278 healing. Insane. Prismatic Sword definitely is a late game item. Let's put it that way. This is, this is, this is got, it's magic, ooh, a magic item, ooh. There is a world where this is pretty good because, I mean, we could put this like here. <laughs> hmm, I mean, it would give us mana and luck, so that's kind of nice. Well, it won't give us luck because we have a lot, but it'll give us like thorns for a while and then give us mana. Do I want this here? I don't think so, I don't know. That's a, t that's a roughy toughy, isn't it? But yeah, let's see what we got in the rerolls. Nothing. Probably should have put it and stuff there. We're just gonna ignore that. Another prismatic orb. Oh my god, magnifique. This is def I don't think we're proc procking two crowns. This will put us at 20. So that's really nice. Put this uh put this in the armor. More prismatic orbs is more fun. <laughs> We're just going to reroll our gold for fun. A corrupted crystal. You know what? I want it for the thumbnail. Let's go. Big damn! Done. See you later. <laughs> Big damage. Huge damage. 106 per second. And how long did that game go on for? Like, 9 seconds. And it's doing, obviously, because of the Corrupted Crystal as well. But look at that damage. This Prismatic Sword, when it hits, it hits big. And look at the healing of it, too. Like, that's insane. Because, like, keep in mind, that's, like, because of the... That's because of the four Vampiric items. So it's giving us, like, a... It's giving us 60% lifesteal off it, right? That's a lot of lifesteal. And that's from these two vampiric gloves and the sword. And it, obviously vampirism is doing a lot too. Like if we check the healing, vampirism 260. That's nuts. And it's being bu it's being boosted by all the rubies in our gear as well as the heart container. But that's still really, really big. Like that's massive sustain. Now, as long as we can hit with the sword, we're never dying. We're killing everything. Plus we inflict debuffs now and then, which is helpful, right? Like, look, like I know it's, I know it's the rapier, but 40% chance to miss like with all these items is, you know, it's, it's, it's something. So yeah, that's, pretty fun build like i really like the prismatic sword i think it's i think it's cool yeah can't say anything else i hope everyone enjoyed it prismatic sword it might take a while to get off the ground sometimes but when it when it takes off it takes off bigly and i hope everyone enjoying had fun goodbye